Okay, so this video is blood supply to the kidney, and I'm going to use this model that has both the kidney and the lobule together so I can bounce back and forth going over the different blood vessels. So we're going to come into the kidney through the renal vein, or excuse me, renal artery, and it's going to split into the segmental arteries. We only have segmental arteries. We do not have segmental veins. From the segmental artery, it's going to go up around one of the lobes of the kidney. So this one, because it goes between lobes, is going to be called the interlobular artery. Then it's going to make an arc over the top of the lobe, top of the pyramid. So this part is called the arcuate artery. And then it's going to go through the cortex and it's going to look like radiating lines out. So the names of these are the cortical radiate arteries. So let's look at those same ones. We stick on this model. We pick up here on the interlobar artery. Here is the arcuate artery. Here is the cortical radiate artery, which will send the blood through the afferent arteriole into the glomerulus, efferent arteriole to the capillary bed. Now the vein names are pretty much reversing it, minusing the segmental ones. So we're going to come back by the cortical radiate vein to the arcuate vein. The arcuate vein would take us over to an interlobar vein, which would be right down here on the edge. Okay, so again, cortical radiate vein, arcuate vein, interlobar vein, and all the interlobar veins just will come into this one vessel here, which is the renal vein, okay? So those are the blood supplies of the kidney.